Let's get the other half of the key, though. This one should be a lot easier. I'm kind of surprised there wasn't a boss here. Or at the other one, rather. Hollow Knights. Yeah, I expected that. This might be a harder part of Lyurnia, but not by... Oh my god, there's a tree here. Why would there be a tree here? It's fine. Two out of three golden seeds for the next upgrade. Looking for the golden seeds is, is the real the real kicker. Honestly, the uh, the amount that we heal per flask went up dramatically from what I saw when I was getting murderized. Also, the speed like it seems like it takes the same amount of time to heal regardless. So uh, it's not just going to be a very big, very slow heal eventually. Should be, like, Lickety Split, because, like, that's quick. Obviously, that wasn't the, the full potential there, but, uh... It seems to do, like, 60% of our health now. Off of just one of those upgrades? I'm honestly kind of tempted to just look up where they are. Blood Rose? I haven't gotten any of those. Anyway, it's Fortress time. Ah, oh, they did. Even easier. Blood Rose. I feel like we can probably do this with reckless abandon. And manage to die somehow. Sounds like a plan. Because uh, our, our weapon... While it might not be the super most amazing... For Kaled... Commoner's headband altered. Oh, I didn't know you could alter headbands. I thought it was just the, the chest. Maybe I'm missing some uh, item augment things. Very interesting. See how much that heal is, dude? That's actually, like... Two will not leave us empty now. Nomadic Warrior's Cookbook 6. I also love these recipes. That's why the forts and stuff just feel good. There's usually something fancy in one of these. Even if it's not the crafting materials like I'd wanted. Alright, what's behind me? Ah. Huh. Ah, oh, there you are. It was just this one? Oh. Oh. They stood, like, right on the edge there. Yeah, they, there's nothing to drop down onto. I just wanted to be sure that there wasn't ultimate secrets below us. I can just shoot you with a regular arrow and see if you die. I missed. But yeah, one regular arrow fired normally kills them. Weathered straight sword. Oh, it's one of the big dudes. Ooh, they didn't get one shot. That just shows to go, you. Ash of War, Bloody Slash. Cool. I wonder if that's a bleed. Blood Rose. This seems to be the bleed place, which is cool, considering that's actually our shtick. Dectus Medallion left. Uh, how do I conjoin them? Okay, well, maybe I don't have to, and because I have both, we're good. Or maybe there's a third place we have to go to to conjoin them. I'm honestly kind of curious. I, I want to see now. Nah, that's too low. There's got to be other things up there. So do we have to fight a boss for this, or is it just going to let us through, I wonder? Oh, it's a duder. It's there somewhere. Another path leading back to the foot of the Erd Tree. An ancient tunnel. I'm so glad I can still use my horse in here. The Grand Lift of Dectus. Do I have to put these on somewhere? Hoist Medallion! With our powers combined, we are Elevator!
Now that I think about it, have we only killed one Great Lord? I feel like we've only killed one of the demigod dudes, and we're already going to the to the mountain area. We saw it earlier through that uh, telescope. There's like a big snowy peak up here, with like buildings and stuff. Maybe it's not snowy. I thought it looked white. Is there snow up here somewhere? Everything's yellow and gold. Maybe not. Altus Plateau. You guys are actually enemies and actually waiting at the lift. Where's the map? Okay, so what if I go this way and the giants don't see me? I love this plan. Even more so when we actually get a Lost Grace at the top. Whole new zone unlocked. I like this area a lot more than I thought. Those look like snowy peaks to me, okay? I wasn't expecting it to be all golden and nice. Is this a cave? To the cave exploration. Unless I die. I didn't die. Hefty bones. It's an ambush. Altus blooms. Golden rose. Oh, a boss thingy. I should at least uncover it for the map. Golden lineage evergowl. Oh, maybe I have to activate this one first. It's not all purple and glowy like the other ones. This place looks amazing. I usually prefer, like, green, but this... Yellow leaves in this forest. It's so yellow and orange. Orange is an awesome color. But the yellow gold on these plants is, uh... It's pretty something. This camp is exploding for some reason. I'm not going to stop in it, because then I'll stop in the explosions. Is that, is that floating? Is there a flying scarab over here? So you have to have a ranged attack for this. No, it, it dropped to the ground. It just wanted me to see it? What just died? Did I kill the giant crab? No, nah, it's fine. Blood blade. Now that's edgy. Is this a cave? You never know what is or isn't. I spent so much time looking for caves, dude. That's a giant. With actual clothes and armor and stuff. I'm going, I'm going around. Is that a fog wall? Fog wall means imp statue. Imp statue means ultimate secrets. Glowy mushrooms. Why, yes, I will put this thing in the place with the stuff. Thank you very much. Underground things usually leads to happiness or death. Sometimes both. Old Altus Tunnel. Explosive Stone Clump. Oh, yeah. That's right, I got the bow on right now. Acquire materials. I didn't even see the crystal. Is that it? Just the crack crystal that's everywhere else? Dude, give me give, give me smithing stones, please. I am make formal request. If you could uh, give me one rank five. I would get two upgrades and be the happiest happy. That's honestly why we did all of that big adventuring, but I went to so many forts and castles and caves and we didn't find one. There's no way. Oh, there's fire dudes everywhere, isn't there? You know what I'm doing? Explosion! It's Mega Man time. I love being able to do that, honestly. I know it's a simple gimmick. Yeah, skip me. Oh my god, we got it. Two upgrades, dude. Two upgrades. I had a feeling... 
that five wouldn't be outlandish because they want to give you the low level materials in the start of an area and we just got to the plateau Ah, oh, that feels great gonna get two weapon upgrades maybe our scaling will finally get to be our scaling is honestly to the point where every single point of dex is two attack power now up from it used to be not even every one gave us attack power so there's definitely a difference between bad sea and good sea really you survived that you guys are so durable i wonder what they're weak to are they weak to striking too just like the crystal ones oh this is probably also just rank 5, like, the rest of this stuff. But if we get more rank 6 stuff, you get some fancy things. 5s will still be useful, of course. Absolutely still be useful. Because we have the bow still. What, what rank is the bow? That's only plus 6. Whoa, a knight dude. An actual proper knight dude. Shot in the back of the head, he took no damage. In fact, he might have healed. Shoot the bombs. Shoot the bombs. That was pointless. Quickly. No, don't hit him. Yes. I didn't hit him, did it? Run out of stamina and fall off the ladders. Ah, you cheater. Alright, let's fight. Oh my god. Oh my, I'm slain. Dude, our heal is so much, and we only have one. Yeah, I saw that coming. Good at this video game, I might not be. But I can at least dodge that, dude. And then, just in case, I don't care if you put your guard up. Because I penetrate guards. Imagine that. Try down. More like try over here. I honestly don't remember if this is the way we came. I think it is. Yeah, I feel like... We definitely go down. Because that other way probably leads to the end. And that's purple special special. Dude, there's more knights down here? At least we don't have to worry about the dogs. Super arrow. Away. Wow, these guys are actually... F I don't know why I thought they were super ridiculously slow and wouldn't be able to dodge any of these. Are you going to try and climb the ladder? Dude, be my guest. Regular arrow. Lol. Oh, is that multiple big knights? I don't know how confident I feel about multiple big knights. That other guy, he almost, uh... He almost did things to me. Maybe we just go around and grab all the goodies real quick, just in case, uh... Things don't go as planned. Smithing Stone 4. Of the somber variety. Still don't know what these cracked crystals are for. In fact, didn't we get a bunch of recipes? Liar. Spithing Stone 5. A fan favorite. It's real though. What, what did these do? We got... It was a 4, right? Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 4. No, it must have been a different one. We already had Fetid Pot. Blood Grease. And Blood Arrows? Dude, Blading Arrows? When did we get that? I just looked through all of them. Poison, the fire stuff, red main fire pots was the super fire pots, immunization stuff, preserving boluses. Dragon Wound Grease. Are you kidding, dude? Does this stack on the Naginata? It's just those blood roses from that fort and the root resin. Dude. And this is special dragon damage, which is also root resin. Beast Blood and Gravel Stone. I don't really care about extra damage to dragons. I, I would be really interested to see if this stacks. Because if I could get even more bleed, that could possibly be the strongest Naginata combination. Even more so than the magic weapon thing that we hardly ever use now. 
Dude, this is just Blood Rose and Thin Beast Bones. Causes Blood Loss build up 55. That's even more than a Nakinata hit. Oh, and there's 10 of them? That might... Actually, no, the Blood Grace is probably more mileage, but I, I need some of these at least. Right? Yeah, oh, it's the Thin Beast Bones that are gating me. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's just make all of these then. Because I still have a bunch of Blood Roses. Dude, we need to go back to that fort and get a bunch more of these. I am loving the Bleed playstyle. If I could get Poison too, extra fancy. Either way, I think we got big stabbings to do in a second once I grab whatever ultimate secrets these are. A Troll's Hammer, so an ultra-great hammer. I do honestly really like the big giant weapons. Smithing Stone 6. But, uh, being heavy, not so much. It's honestly kind of unfortunate how ridiculously heavy the Naginata is. Because the equip loads in this game are based off of three thresholds. Uh, below 30%, below 70%, and 70% or above. For light... No, that wasn't a backstab. And it didn't break their guard? Oh my god, we're dead. So basically, to be light, you have to be ridiculously light, because you have to be less than 30% of your maximum carry weight, which means for what we have right now, we would have to be at, like, 18 pounds? Something like that? We'd have to be at, like, 18 pounds or less. And considering the Naginata weighs 8... And the shield weighs 7. Alright, so let me test this. Oh my god. The video game, it's not stopping me. Okay, I'm gonna die. Dude, did I just roll through that explosion that was, like, on my soul? I could not have been more inside that explosion. Calculated. But it's really gonna let me stack the bleed build up. I can't believe that. I did not think it would let me do that. God, all of the guys came back. That makes me honestly not want to fight them so much. So what if I grab this and run? Don't hurt me. Oh, wait, this is the... Oh, God. Help me. Don't make me curse explosion, please. Ooh, it's an actual stone troll. Which is to be expected considering the name, but uh, that whole... Made out of rock so your attacks bounce off dealio. Leaves to be desired. Oof. Oof. Well, I didn't really expect the boss to be out here. But, uh, bleed up? If you can even bleed? Aw, oh, dude, I wanted to do cool stuff. I feel like these things are supposed to be in here to help me. I guess we can get some damage while he's ignoring us. Get closer to the explode explodes. Oh, I ran out of fire arrows. I can't make things explode explode anymore.
What? I wasn't expecting the final hit. Please just die already. Okay. The Great Club. 